And we have the recording in progress as we speak. So let's get started with our feel good stretch class today. As we said, we're going to do uh, lower back and uh, uh, the sciatic nerve as well as upper body, shoulders and neck. So let's come to the mat for a second. And you might be sitting on your seat bones or you might be kneeling down on your knees and uh, coming to sit onto your heels. And uh, let's start by taking a moment here to allow ourselves to pause. Try to stay as still as possible. Creating some awareness of where you are now. Take a deep inhale, maybe closing your eyes just to be present, just to be opening on the mental space as well as the physical space. As you exhale, allow yourself to become heavier. Let the muscles relax. Try to bring the shoulders down. Whatever way you are sitting, try to find a long spine here. Align the crown of the head all the way down towards the tailbone in one line without rounding your spine. And from here, whatever position you are now, we are going to come into a seated position, crossing our legs, sit bones really grounded, hands onto your knees. And we're going to start warming up on our spine. So let's start by growing tall first. Take a deep inhale and as you exhale, start rounding that lower back, creating a little bit of space. Depending on how tight you are today, this rounding might become a little bit challenging or not. And we're going to rock forward on our chest as we try to open the chest, bring the heart forward. Inhaling here, exhaling, round it. And then we're going to have a couple of more of these. You can go as fast or as slow as you want, trying to create mobility along each vertebra. Try to see if you can really project that chest forward as you start warming up on the pectoris muscle and the rhomboid and the trapezius. Whenever you're done here, come back to stillness. And if you feel like continue to rock back and forth a little bit, by all means do it. When we are ready to meet back into stillness, start by bringing the right ear towards the right shoulder and make sure the knees are down, the arms are relaxed. You really want to start creating some space here, maybe closing your eyes, maybe breathing deeply as you inhale. And as you exhale, let the head become really heavy towards the right. Allow for the left shoulder to come down. In the next inhale, come back to neutral. And as you exhale, allow that, uh, that head to drop towards the left ear, towards the, the left ear, towards the left shoulder. Take a moment here to breathe in and let that head come really heavy onto the left. In the next inhale, come back to neutral and let's open the front body. So mainly on the throat level without doing too much of an uh, overarching on your spine. Option to bring the, head, the hands behind your head, support the weight of your head, open the elbows wide, sitting tall, try to see if you can release any tension on your throat. Breathe in, expand the neck, expand, expand, sorry, expand the lungs, Open the throat. As you exhale, come back to neutral and without pushing on the head, try to bring that chin really, really, really close towards your chest. And once you reach a point where you feel that the head is heavy, let it all go around the spine as much as you need to. Open the back of your neck. In the next inhale, come back to neutral and once again, supporting your head with your hands if an op is an option. Allow for the chest to open, all elbows pointing outwardly. 
Breathe in, expand the lungs, open the chest. And as you exhale, let it all go to bring in the chin to touch towards your chest. And again, without pushing the head or anything, let that chin come closer towards your chest. Come back to neutral here. And as you exhale, rotate the head, chin parallel to the, chair, to the floor, rotate the head towards the right. Inhale, come back to center and rotate that head towards the left. Now take a moment in the next inhale, come back to center and as you exhale, rotate to the right again. But this time you're going to start bringing the chin to push or to, pull, to point towards the armpit, the right armpit. Allowing for the muscles to the side of your neck to release. Option to bring the right hand towards the right, left here, and slightly, without pressing or pushing, let the weight of your arm activate a little bit more on the opening. Breathe in, breathe out, let it all go, exhale. To come back, remove that hand and allow the head to slowly and with control come back to center. No sudden movements, inhale, sitting tall, as you exhale, first you rotate the head towards the left, and then from there, bring the chin to point towards the armpit, the left armpit. See if there's any difference in between this side and the other side. An option to bring the left hand towards the right ear this time. Remember to keep bringing the right shoulder down. Breathe in. As you breathe out, really let the head be heavier. Try to think about inhaling and bringing space and exhaling and releasing tension from there. Slowly remove that hand, bring yourself back to center and getting back into that cat seated cat cow, you're going to inhale and project that chest forward. Exhale, around in the spine, all the way from the pelvic, from the uh, uh, belly button in. Try to see if you can round a little bit more. Try to make yourself look like a little bit of a future ball, tucking your chin in even. In the next inhale, come to sit tall and start by bringing yourself to extend the left leg, right sole of your feet onto the inner thigh. And start bringing the arms to rotate and frame the left leg. Flex the foot on the left foot, uh, the, flex the left foot, toes pointing towards the sky. As you exhale, start walking those fingertips forward until you start feeling a little bit of a stretch and opening happening on the lower back on the right side of your body. When we start stretching, we start feeling all the different things that are holding tension. For some of you, this might be the hip opener. For some others, it might be the back of your left leg. So stay here for a couple of uh, inhales and exhales, allowing for the nervous system and the brain to connect with the breath. And as well, as you inhale and as you exhale, try to see if you can get a little bit lower, trying to keep a flat back. And guys, this is not about bouncing or really pushing hard. It's all the contrary, as we have done many, many classes so far. It's all about letting the body settle in the stretch. Breathe in. Now, as you breathe out, you're going to be really heavy around that spine. Let the head be heavy and fall towards that left leg. Maybe you feel like walking the fingertips towards the heel a little bit more. Be mindful not to overstretch. You want to do very subtle movements and come into the stretch very, uh, very gently. Stay here and in the next inhale, you're going to bring the left hand to the inner side of your right of your left foot. And then gently start rotating the torso so that you, you want to face the screen with a flat torso towards the screen. Right hand into the lower back. And maybe you might feel like doing a little bit of a massage all the way 
from the kidneys up to the right glute. Warm up that area, irrigate with more blood, bring some more oxygen into those muscles. As you inhale, bring the right arm towards the sky. And as you exhale, allow the right arm to come towards the right ear. Again, try to keep that chest open and flat towards the screen. You need to bring that left shoulder a little bit more aligned with your right shoulder. Maybe stay here and as you exhale, try to see if you can slide the left hand a little bit more, maybe overpassing the left foot. Be patient with yourself, be patient with your body here. Inhale deeply, exhale fully, stay where you are. In the next inhale, first thing to come back is the right arm. Placing the right hand on the kidneys and lower back, massage that lower back once again. And then gently frame the, the left leg once again. So you want to have that torso flat facing the right, the left knee. As you stay here, you're going to try to stay with your flat back. And now try to see if you can slide your hands a little bit more towards your heels, maybe overpassing that left foot. And observe if any difference, if anything has opened a little bit more for you. Maybe the sensation is less intense and you can allow yourself to really come a little bit closer from with your chest towards your left side. Take one more inhale and now let the head be heavier. Press down onto those hands to come back towards your hip and slowly come back into seated position. Bring the arms overhead, create space in between each vertebra and in the intercostals. And as you exhale, arms down, switch sides. And we have the chance now to start experimenting on to the other side. Start by bringing the hands to frame the, le the right leg this time. And whenever you're ready, allow yourself to have in a flat back Start by bringing the fingertips to slide a little bit forward. And again, try not to overdo it. As you notice the difference on the first side, it's all a matter of being patient and allowing for the body to settle into the stretch. For those of you joining now, uh, remember that this is our second side. So Probably at the end of the class, you might want to do the first side, same thing that we are doing now. Whenever you're ready, walk your fingertips a little bit more towards your left, uh, your right heel, keeping that flat back, no tension in the neck, so you don't want to project the chin forward. You want to look down towards the toes of the left foot. Remember to keep that left knee closer towards the floor. Stay here and now in the next exhale, you're going to allow your spine to be rounded, head heavy. No specific intention to bring the chin to the chest, but as you release the, the, the tension from your head on keeping that head erected, you're able to really let the forehead come closer towards your thumb. Take a moment here to inhale one more time. And as you exhale, allow your body to keep opening on the lower back on the left side. In the next inhale, bring the right hand to the inner part of the right foot. And whenever you're ready, start twisting your body facing the screen. You want a flat back here, aiming for the right shoulder towards the right ear. Left hand onto your lower back, allowing for a little bit of a massage, warm up that area, warm up the fibers of those muscles, irrigate the kidneys, allowing also for these deep stretches and classes that release tensions, activate the detoxing system. Whenever you feel you're ready, you're going to start bringing the left arm towards the sky, and as you exhale, bring that left arm fully extended towards the left ear. Take a moment here to inhale. 
Exhale, maybe sliding the, hand, the fingertips on the right hand, making that right arm a little bit more extended. Keep the chest open. Gaze is either towards the screen or down towards the floor, not towards the sky. We are trying to really hold no tension in the body. In the next inhale, bring the left arm up towards the sky, slowly back into the left lower back. Massage once again. And whenever you're ready, come back to frame again with both hands, the left leg, and observe if there's any difference in between the first time you try to surrender here and now. Try not to overdo it. If there's too much tension in the back of your knee, ease up a little bit on, on that leg. So keep a micro flex on that right, on that right knee. And the last exhale, you're going to allow yourself to surrender here, keep heavy, maybe closing your eyes and feeling the weight of your body pressing down on the earth, as well as anything that is opening and the new spaces that you are creating in your body. Letting the tension go. Slowly pressing the hands on the mat. Walk your hands slowly back. Remember, we didn't do a, a very a intense warm up. So we are very mindful here. Coming into a hip opener, you're going to bring the sole of your feet together into butterfly pose. And each one of you have different opening on your hips. So the idea is to bring those heels as close as possible towards your sit, as towards your pelvic floor as you can. And then from there, sitting tall and pressing or pushing the knees down towards the floor, allowing for that hip to really, really open. I'm going to insist on you connecting with your own body. And uh, sometimes the best way to connect with the sensations is to close your eyes. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Whenever you're ready, release the tension here as bring the knees to release the tension as well. So you want the knees uh, higher than they were uh, originally and start sliding the feet forward. So you want more of a, rom a rhomboid position now. If at all possible, grab your feet. If not, grab a strap around your feet and try to see if you can round your spine and let the crown of the head come in between your legs. Again, guys, it's not about pushing. Slowly and gently allow for the gravity to help you release and open the back body. The longer you stay, the deeper you breathe in and the deeper you exhale, the easier it's going to be for your body to let the tension go. If your mind is still troubled and coming into different places and different thoughts, try to connect with the physical body. What are you feeling? Where are you feeling the opening happening? Take one more inhale and maybe without you pushing or anything, you feel that that crown of the head can come a little bit closer, either towards your heels or in between your legs. In the next inhale, press the hands down on the mat and then again, very gently, walk your hands back towards your hip and allow you to sit tall. Now bring both knees together and drop the knees towards the right. You want one knee, uh, uh, you, you want to, uh, uh, to create uh, two knees towards the right, but not stuck on top of each other. Don't worry about the opening of the left knee. It's not about the hip flexor extension yet. It's all about dropping the knees towards the right, coming into a mermaid position, bringing the right forearm onto the floor, allowing again for a nice side opening here. Remember that lower back pain is not only the lower back that is pulling or holding tension. It's about all the hip and muscles around up and down of the hip that are pulling in different directions, the fascia 
that needs a little bit more lubrication and release of the tension here. Bring the left arm down and now come into your hands, square your torso. So you're going to rotate the torso towards the right as if you're doing a plank with half of your body. And then from there, start allowing those forearms to come to the floor if possible. If forearms is too much for you, come a little bit lower, I mean, a little bit higher, so. Stay here and keeping the knees exactly where they are, try to see if you can come into a mix of pigeon's pose. So surrendering, bringing the forehead to the mat, arms extended towards the front wall, both knees on the mat. Slowly pressing down onto the mat, walk your hands back. And now pressing down onto the right hand, you're going to lift that hip and bring the chest, the chest to open, lift the hip up, bring the left arm up and back, opening on the chest. Okay, it could be down or could be towards the sky. And now stay there. And in the next inhale, push the hip forward, just slightly forward, and feel the opening and stretching on the mainly abdominal muscles and the chest. And slowly bring everything down, come back to center, and, and drop, the his, keep, uh, drop the knees now onto the left. Make sure that the knees are fully grounded, left forearm onto the mat, and allow for the right arm to come towards the right heel. Get as grounded as possible so that you start feeling all the opening from the hip all the way up towards your ribcage, from the ribcage towards the armpit, an extension of that right arm. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, now place the right hand on the mat. Bring both forearms onto the mat and find a flat back before going anywhere else. The knees are exactly where they were before. Maybe this is enough, or maybe you want to back down into your full surrendering here. And observe when you surrender, if you're overcompensating with your hip, are you bringing your hip forward? Are you lifting the right knee? Try to get still grounded as when you started and allow for that upper body to release the tension. Pressing the hands down back on the mat, walk your hands back, keeping the left hand on the mat, Start by lifting the left, the hip up and bringing the right arm all the way to the side. And then allow yourself, like when you do a wild thing, bring the right arm back, opening the chest. In the next inhale, project the hip forward. Nice expansion of the abdominal muscles, but mainly releasing the tension of the organs. When we are sitting, we tend to compress all the organs down and forward. So now we are doing the opposite movement. Slowly come back to center. And whenever you're ready, come back into your tabletop position. Get grounded here, find one, one cat cow here. So inhale deeply, exhale rounding the spine, taking the chin in as close as possible, opening the shoulder blades really away from the middle line. And from here, start bringing the crown of the head onto the floor. If you have too much of a hard floor, maybe you want to have a blanket under the crown of your head so that you don't feel that much pressure. Make sure that it's not too thick so that you can keep the balance here. Placing the crown of the head on the mat. You're going to slightly push the hip forward. It's like you're rolling over your head to release the tension on your neck, bring the shoulders down, elbows to pointing towards the back wall here. Be very mindful and gentle here. We're going to stay here for one more inhale and exhale. And as you exhale, try to roll the hip on the floor a little bit more. Connect with that opening happening in the base of the occipital muscle, the base of your neck, shoulders down. And now counterbalance this pose by coming all the way, keep the floor, keep the head on the floor, 
simply roll yourself back and come into your child's pose. Stay grounded here. Keep the right arm extended. And as you exhale, bring the left arm to thread the needle towards the right, left shoulder on the mat, left ear on the mat or left side of your face on the mat. Breathe in. In the next exhale, try to see if you can bring that left shoulder to slide down under your chest a little bit more. And try to see if you can bring the sit bones a little bit closer towards your heels. Be patient with the body. In the next inhale, slowly come back to extend both arms forward. One inhale in your thighs. And as you exhale, find the rabbit, what we call rabbit pose in yoga. So lifting the hip up, crown of the head on the mat, roll that head all over the mat again. Mindfully, push the hip forward. Shoulders down, elbows pointing back. Try not to lift the head from the floor. Roll along the crown of the head until you come to the forehead and slowly find your ties once again. Keep the left arm extended and thread the needle with the right arm towards the left, left side of your head on the mat. Take a moment here to allow the grounding to happen. Be patient. This is not the class where you need to be impatient with yourself and with your bodies, all the opposite. This is a gift to yourself, to your body, to your mind, to really slow down from the day, from the week, from what happened and what is coming. In the next exhale, inhale, sorry, come with that arm back. Find your ties for an inhale. And as you exhale, frame the head. Be very mindful coming back into the crown of the head. And pause there, exactly at the crown of the head. If you can, and if not too much pressure on your head, bring the arms towards the sky. Interlace the fingers. And then allow the head to roll as you were doing the first couple of times. If it's too much, if it's too much weight onto the head, by all means, come back to framing that head with your arms. Slowly arms down, come back to the crown of the head, slowly rolling the head and coming to your forearms, arms to the side of your body, next to your uh, thighs and legs, palms facing the sky. Now with the head still supported on your, I mean the forearm, forehead, the forehead on the mat, bring the arms once again all towards the sky, interlace the fingers this time, or stand on top. As you exhale, flex the elbows and bring both hands to the outer side of the right waist. Roll a couple of times the left shoulder back. Inhale, extension of the arms towards the back wall or sky. As you exhale, flex the elbows, both hands onto the left side of your hip or waist and roll the right shoulder back a couple of times. In the next inhale, press the hands down on the mat, framing your torso and push yourself all the way up. Be mindful on this one until the flat, the, 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 the blood comes a little bit too regular, to be regular again. Remove the blanket or keep the blanket if you need it under your knees, under your knee, left knee this, in this case. And we're going to keep that blanket to support the knee, allowing for the left knee to come forward and the right knee to come back opening the hip flexor on the front. So we're coming from the upper body to the lower body, back and forth, guys, here. So we are not exhausting the muscles. On the contrary, we are using a little bit of a break so that we can keep going with the extensions and the opening and the stretches. Now stay here 
And the only modification that we are going to do is that you're going to externally rotate that right leg, the one that you have extended. You want the inner arch of your foot to be grounded and the inner part of your leg to be as close as possible towards the floor as you can. And now that, by doing that, your hip has shift. Probably your hip is coming a little bit more to the left, and that is what we want. Let that hip drop on the floor fully towards the left. And then from there, try to see if you can extend the right leg a little bit more. It should feel a nice stretching on the inner thigh, on both legs, different way of stretching, but still a nice stretch. Keep the toes pointed on the right leg. Stay here, and then on the next exhale, come back to where you started. So roll onto that right leg back to have the front leg on the mat. And now you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to internally rotate that right leg. So you want to have the right hip fully grounded. From there, take a moment to extend the left leg towards the left. So I'm showing from this side. So you have one leg in one direction, the other leg in the other direction. Try to point both toes equally and try to see if you can find some additional stretch happening on the left leg, on the back of the left leg. From here, you're going to bring that left leg back, coming to your right forearm. Align your hip so you want to stack your hip uh, knees over or one knee over the other, one ankle over the other, and bring the left knee to flex. Catch your left foot with your left hand. Make sure the knees are still aligned and then project the hip forward, bringing the left heel towards the left foot. Nice opening on the torso at the same time as you are stretching on the front muscles of your body and mainly right a left hip flexor and quadriceps. Stay here, keep the left knee flexed and come to lay down on your abdomen. Now both legs are on the mat, right leg is extended, left heel is onto the floor. Try to catch that left foot with both hands and bring the heel if possible to touch the left glute. Nice opening here of the front body once again, this time better supported on the upper body. Now in the next exhale, you're going to keep pulling a little bit that left heel into the, into the glute and try to see if you can lift the left leg from the mat. If it is too intense, back off. There's nothing you need to prove to anyone. This is just to release tension from your body. And slowly let that left leg come back to the floor. Place the hands on the mat. Spread your torso. Push yourself all the way back into a tabletop position. And from here, come into a downward facing dog just as a transition to allow ourselves to have more room. In the next inhale, you're going to get really, really long in your spine. And as you exhale, bring the left knee forward, but don't place it on the floor yet. Slide the left leg towards the right and then bring the hip down to the floor. Try to keep that right leg extended. Try to see if you can come onto your fingertips so that you can sit, you can sit really tall. Point the toes or flex the foot on the left leg. The sensation is different, guys. If you flex the foot, it's going to be more intense. If you point the toes, it's going to become less intense. This is a nice opening as well for the front body at the same time as you're working the hip flex, sorry, not the hip flex, or the IT band and the inner thighs. And on the right leg, the front of your right leg. Whenever ready, bring that left leg back, tuck your back toes and come back into your child's pose. Now bring whatever blanket you have, if you have a blanket under the left knee, and use that simply as a, as a little bit of, a, uh, uh, of uh, a cushion there. Just start bringing the right knee forward. 
You're sitting on your right heel. Slide the left leg as much as you can towards the back wall. You want the toes pointed, sitting tall here. Option to come down onto your forearms if you feel a little bit more grounded here. Make sure your hip is square. And try to see if you can even open a little bit more, stretch a little bit more. It's like you're trying to create space in between the front and the back knee. Try to see if you can stretch a little bit more there. Now keep that left leg grounded, but you're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. So start rotating externally right that left leg. You want the inner arch and the heel in contact with the floor, if at all possible. That gives a full rotation of your leg. And the moment you do so, you will start noticing that the hip is opening towards the left. Let that hip fall, to, sorry, towards the right. Let that hip drop towards the right. Keep that left leg extended. Now, the only thing I want you to pay attention is that you're not opening the left leg towards the diagonal. You want to keep that leg pointing towards the back wall, but all the inner thigh, all the inner calf and the inner part of your foot is in contact with the floor. Slowly take a minute to come back to the front of your leg and now drop the hip, internally rotate that leg, the left leg, until the hip reaches the floor. Whenever you are there, you're going to extend the right leg. Try to see if you can play with pointing the toes or uh, flexing the foot. Again, the moment you flex the foot, the sensation becomes a lot more intense onto the right leg. And now gently come back to center. Come into your tabletop position for a moment and then find that out of Mukhasavasana or downward facing. Try to see if you can walk your legs this time. And we're going to pause by pressing the left heel really down onto the mat. If you cannot reach the floor with your heel, I really want you to reach it. So walk that foot forward as needed so that the left heel is touching the floor. I want you to focus all your attention on pressing the left heel on the mat. Flex the right knee as much as you can and bring that hip towards the left. Breathe in. Sensations here comes into the calf, into the lower back, into the hamstring, into the back of your knee. And then switch legs, right heel pressing down on the mat. All the attention is about that right heel on the mat. I don't even care about the toes. I can even lift my toes from the floor. I have all the feeling, all the pressure onto my right heel. Flex the left knee a lot more and open the hips slightly towards the right. Slowly come back to center with both heels towards the sky, coming to the top at the ball of your feet, and then slowly bring the heels, both heels to touch down on the floor. Try to see if you can lift the toes of your feet, all 10 toes, press the heels down, and slowly now come with the right knee forward, allowing for the left leg to extend back. From here, take a moment to inhale. And as you exhale now, create some space, lift the right knee away from the floor and slide the right leg towards the left, allowing for the outer thigh or the IT band this time to really be a stretch. Come to the fingertips if at all possible so that you can sit taller. Keep engaging that back foot, slide the left leg back and try to see if you can extend a little bit more the right leg, maybe even flexing the right foot. Sensations change a lot in stretching the minute we do a little bit of a modification. Whenever you're ready, come back to center and come into your tabletop position. Now from here, come back into your seated position. 
and we're going to start by crossing into a cow face pose. But we're going to start in this cow face, starting very gently. So you're going to get seated, crossing the left leg on top, right knee under. Try to see if you can align both knees. And then from there, start rounding your spine and bringing that cow face uh, with you. So knees towards your chest. We're going to find an easy opening here. Grab your feet with each hand. As you exhale, try to really pull the bottom knee to try to reach the chest. The sensation is on the top leg, outer thigh, inner thigh, hip, lower back, IT band, everything is stretching here on the left leg. Breathe in. And as, as you breathe out now, try to bring the heels in opposite direction. And then as you keep exhaling, try to bring that bottom knee even closer towards your chest. Gently come back to center, place the right foot on the mat, bring the left hand to the inner, leg, inner part of your left leg or your heel, and then start opening that left leg towards the left. Make sure that your body is not rolling together with your left. You want your hip grounded, Maybe bringing the right knee to point into the opposite direction so that you're compensating here. Get grounded. Observe your lower back if you're arching or over arching that lower back. If that is the case, ease up on the opening to the left and bring that leg a little bit higher. Gently flex the left knee. Extension of the right leg fully now towards the front wall. And now cross that left leg over towards the right and bring the left arm into T shape. Right hand onto the outer side of the outer side of your left knee. And now I want you to try to play as much as possible with extending both legs equally in opposite directions. The left leg extended, point the toes, maybe play with flexing the foot. And I want to hear what you have to say when you flex that left foot. Left shoulder is down, right leg is straight forward towards the front wall. And then gently bring everything back to center, hug your knees in, slightly rock side to side, come back into seated position, Cross your legs onto the other direction. Now the right leg is on top, left leg is on the bottom, finding your cow pose and slowly start rolling back onto your, uh, coming onto your back to lay down onto your back. Once you catch your feet, knees are stuck on top of each other. It's easier to stack your knees when you're laying on your back. And then from there, start bringing those knees towards your chest really aiming for the bottom knee to reach your chest. That's the way to really stretch on the upper leg. Breathe in gently. Breathe out and let that bottom knee come closer towards the chest. Now grabbing from the toes on from your ankles, I want you to stay here, but bring those ankles to open in opposite direction. Now inhale, create like a nice cow face here. And as you exhale, bring the bottom knee even closer towards the chest. Really nice stretch for the glute, the IT band on the right leg, lower back. Come back to center. And now uncross your legs, grab the right heel or inner, on inner part of your leg and open the right leg towards the right as you bring the left knee to point towards the left. Maybe the left hand is on your leg so that you can hold the hip square. Again, if you're bringing too much tension in that opening, you're overdoing it. So see where you can open that right leg without your hip coming away from the floor or detaching from the floor. Try to see if you can 
point the toes of that right foot and get a full stretch of that leg, a full extension of that right leg. And now flex the foot and try to see if you can point the toes of the right foot towards your right shoulder. And then gently bring everything back to center. Extend the left leg, cross the left, right leg over towards the left until you find the grounding. Left leg fully extended, right leg really to the right. And now point the toes of that right foot and try to stretch and extend that right leg as much as you can. And now the invitation is to flex the right foot, toes pointing towards the left shoulder. If at all possible, breathe in and hold the stretch. Breathe out and point the toes. Now breathe in again. And as you exhale, flex the foot and point the toes towards the left shoulder. And gently let it go. Come back to center. Have your knees in. Rock yourself all the way back to sit it and bring the hands behind your, your seat. Palms placed on the mat, fingers pointing forward. Allow yourself to open the chest. As you exhale, come back to extend your legs and sit it forward, forward. By this time, chances are that your seated forward fold comes to you a lot more easily, a lot more naturally than the very first um, head to toes or head to knee that we have done before. And now I want you to pay attention to your legs. If your legs are fully engaged and you're trying to bring the legs to press down on the mat, release the tension. Let the, let the knees come slightly flexed. Let the toes be slightly outwardly rotated. So you want the legs to be fully relaxed. Breathe in and breathe out as you let the head drop heavy and the rounding of the spine happens here. Nice opening on the neck, on the lower back at the same time. And use the gravity on your benefit here. Breathe in, close your eyes maybe. We're going to stay here a little bit longer. So try not to fight it, but on the contrary, try to allow for this moment to be a moment of stillness, a moment to really ease down on your thoughts, find grounded energy, Breathe in and breathe out. If you want a little bit more of sensation, tuck your chin towards your chest. And by doing so, you do not, you do not only activate more on the cervical spine, but certainly by bringing the chin towards the chest in committing to do so, you might feel a deeper opening, like a pulling to deeper opening on the middle of your spine as well. We're not going anywhere. So release any tension from your face muscles. Maybe open your mouth slightly. Try not to frown on your forehead. Try to release tension around the muscles in your eyes, around your eyes. Breathe deeply. Exhale, let yourself be heavier. These forward fold positions, as intense as it could be, it also helps to activate the parasympathetic nervous system coming inward 
even more if you're closing your eyes and you're releasing any tension on your chest, any tension in your face muscles. Take one more inhale and let it all go as you exhale. Very gentle. The last thing you're going to uh, bring up to sitting is your head. So pressing the hands down on the mat, walk your hands back towards your hip and slowly allow one vertebra at a time to come back to stack on top of each other. Start sitting tall and the last thing that comes to be erected is your head. Now observe your neck muscles and your upper back, drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Come back to neutral with your head, left ear towards the left shoulder. Come back to neutral. In the next inhale, bring your knees towards your chest and come to sit really tall here. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring those arms to eagle pose, pressing the hands against each other, maybe sitting on a seated easy pose position. Bring the arms a little bit higher. And as you exhale, you're going to still sit tall, but bring the elbows towards the sternum, towards the center of your chest, that bone area that you have in the middle of your chest. Stay here, inhale deeply. And as you exhale, start rounding from the lower back and bring yourself to get fully rounded until the hands and maybe even the forehead are a lot closer towards the floor. And then slowly come back to sitting tall and cross your arms, bring the arms behind you, grab your elbows and project the chest forward. Maybe even pulling the elbows away from you the, without touching your spine or your back. And then switch the crossing of your, leg, of your arms. Find your eagle on the other side. Make sure the forearms are pressing against each other and the palms of your hands are pressing against each other. And as you exhale, bring no rounding on the spine. Bring the elbows towards your chest. Nice release of tension on your shoulders, opening on the shoulder blades. Take a moment to inhale. And as you exhale, start rounding from the lower back. Make yourself like a little ball here, trying to aim for the floor. Maybe the forehead is supported by your arms here, by your hands or arms. And then gently come back to standing. I'm uh, sorry, to sit it. And cross your legs and then, oh gosh, and cross your arms. This time you're going to interlace the thumbs. Come with the arms tall as, as you exhale, pull the elbows as you flex them in opposite direction. Inhale, arms to the T shape. And as you exhale, bring the arms behind your back, fingertips on the mat, allow the chest to open, bring the chin towards the sky and open the chest. In the next inhale, you're going to come to lay down on your mat, uh, on your belly, sorry. And we are finding a little bit of a crossing like how a uh, cow face with your arms this time. So I'm going to show from the front, sliding the left arm towards the right, right arm towards the left, and allowing for the chin to be supported on your arms. It's a very simple but very effective pose for releasing tension on the upper body, mainly middle back. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, try to make the crossing of those arms a little bit deeper. So you want the fingertips to walk in this in opposite directions here. If it becomes too much of a sensation, ease up on the crossing. If you have a lot of tension on the scap in between your scapulas, those muscles that are pulling the movement of the shoulder up and down, back and forth. If there's too much tension there, ease up on the crossing a little bit. One more time, try to inhale and see if you can slide your fingertips in opposite directions once again, a little bit more this time. No tension in the neck, you want the chin to be supported by your with the, the top arm. 
and then gently and cross. Come into a sphinx pose with your forearms on the mat. This time you're going to open your legs wider than the mat and make an external rotation of your legs so you're releasing the lower back as well. And then from there, inhale, chest projected forward in a modified sphinx. And now as you exhale, switch the crossing of your arms, the ones that was on top goes under and come into that cow face pose. You can keep the legs open, externally rotated so that you release tension on the lower back as well. Take a moment to settle here. Inhale deeply as you exhale. Try to slide those fingertips a little bit more into those opposite directions. Forehead supported, chest is pressing down. You want to really get grounded here, pressing everything that you can down towards the floor. Observe if this side is easier or more difficult than the other. And wherever you feel tightness, try to breathe a little bit deeper. One more time, try to see if you can come to a tighter crossing of your arms, so more of the crossing coming into the middle line, head supported by the top arm. And then gently in the next inhale, come back into that space pose with your crocodile legs. Inhale, project the chest forward. As you exhale, bring the front of the legs to be on the mat and bring your, hip, your legs hip with distance apart. Take a moment here to bring the hands under your chest and start pressing the hands down on the mat until you find a full extension of your arms in a cobra pose, king cobra. As you exhale, lift the hip up and come all the way into your thighs. Maybe opening the knees wider. Observe the opening of the chest. Observe the opening of those hips and legs. Maybe it's a lot easier to come to sit on your heels. Maybe it's easier for you to bring the chest towards the floor. Take one more inhale here. Try to get even longer in your spine, even closer with that chest towards the floor. And now in the next inhale, you're going to come back all the way into your pigeon with the right knee, allowing for the left leg to be stretched really long and back. And we're going to have a couple of modifications here in that pigeon, in that in this pigeon. So we start in our forearms, make sure the hip is square. Take a moment to rock that hip slightly side to side so that you can have more room. And we all have different openings today. So maybe sliding the arms forward until you get to flat, be flat with the floor, keeping the hip grounded here. Now, if you want a little bit more sensation, you're going to keep your arms parallel and you're going to walk both arms towards the right side of your body or towards the right corner of the room. And then gently walk your hands back, bring the hip up and switch sides, gentle movements here. Find that rocking in your hips so that you can open that hip gently. And whenever you're ready, making sure the back leg can't go any further, can't open any more, then from there you come to your forearms. And maybe just maybe fully surrendering here. Make sure you're not falling towards the left. Keep the hip ground, uh, keep the hip square. And if you want more sensation, maybe try it out on this side, bringing the arms parallel to each other towards the left.
and then gently come back to center. Take a moment to come to group everything back into a seated position. And this time you're going to extend the legs forward just for a moment to open those legs really wide, as wide as you can. And bring the hands on the mat. From there, start sliding forward until you start feeling the first sensation in the inner thighs or hips. Allow yourself to breathe in and be patient here. Maybe you need to keep a soft knee bent. For now, keep the toes and the feet relaxed. There's no further engagement on those legs. So whatever way you landed on your legs is good. We are not engaging by flexing the feet or anything. Breathe in, I'm rounding my spine, it's not a flat back. And as I, I exhale a little bit more, maybe sliding those fingertips forward. You will see that you're starting to tilt your hip forward and you're becoming a lot deeper in that lower back release as well as front body, open, the front of the, I mean, the inner thighs opening. It's a nice hip opener at the same time, releasing all the tension from the lower back. This shouldn't be painful, guys. If there's pain, you need to back off a little bit. Is up on the, on, the, on the stretch of the arms or the chest coming closer towards the floor. For some of you, maybe this is a good time to come in another exhale to try to see if you can extend a little bit more those arms. Maybe some of you are reaching the floor already with your forehead. The goal is not to reach the floor. The goal is to invite your body to open as much as you can tonight. In the next inhale, walk your hands back and slowly bring those knees to flex. Grab your knees from the outer side so that you can help ease up on that intense stretch. Drop those knees to one side and look over the opposite shoulder. Look, drop the knees to the other side and look, drop, uh, look through the uh, up, look over the opposite shoulder now. Whenever you're ready, come back to lay down onto your, on your back and bring in the knees with you. Hug those knees in. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to start by bringing the arms towards the sky and keeping those knees as close as you can towards your chest. Drop those knees towards the right, stack on top of each other Drop both arms in the opposite direction. Nice spinal twist for your spine here. To come out of the pose, bring the arms back to center first, and then engage the abdomen and bring the knees back to your knee, towards your chest. As you exhale, keeping is not 90 degrees, it's really close towards your chest. Keep those knees stacked on top of each other, Drop them towards the left and the arms towards the right. And if you see that you're bringing the knees away from your chest, bring them back to the chest. And then gently bring the arms up, knees up. As you exhale, find the happy baby pose and maybe massaging the lower back gently, drop falling onto one side. Massaging gently and falling onto the other side. And then come back to center, bringing the feet to be grounded. Then extension of your legs wider than the mat. Let the toes be, with the, the pinkies be heavy, external rotation of the hip. Nice hip opener. So place your hands on the crease of your hip and pull the hips down and away from each other, away from the middle line. In the next inhale, keep the hips and legs grounded, bring the arms overhead. 
As you exhale, you're going to hug yourself. So crossing the arms in front of you, grab the scapula. I really want you to try to grab that big triangle uh, bone that is the scapula. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, you're going to lift like if you are crunching here. Bring the chin in, lift the shoulders away from the mat, lift the scapula. So you want everything away from the mat. Only the lower back and the lower middle back is on the mat. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and come back down onto the mat gently and slowly. Arms overhead, inhale. As you exhale, cross into the other uh, direction. Grab this cup as you want to really get the fingertips um, under that um, under that bone. So try to pull the shoulders down and elbows coming to the middle of your chest, pressing down. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, crunch it here. Lift the shoulders, lift the scapulas, lift everything that you can lift. And then gently come back to center. Whenever you're ready, flex your knees, bring the arms overhead and find a nice overarching on the lower back and middle back. Just the shoulders are on the mat. It's like you're projecting the abdomen towards the sky. And as you exhale, bring the arms down. All the back is fully grounded. Press your feet down on the mat, tuck your belly in and imprint the lower back on the mat. Find more space in the back of your neck. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Get super grounded. Try to really bring the shoulders to press down. Imprint the spine on the mat. And then gently find the neutral spine with a little bit of arch in the lower back. From here, guys, take a moment to take a last big, nice inhale. And now exhale fully and become as heavier, as heavy as you can. Connecting with a nice open body. Hopefully a lot more space, a lot more flexibility, a lot less tension is holding in your body, in your muscles, in your joints. Observe your heart and your heartbeat. Bring your attention to your throat and your breath. If that breath is a little bit more, is a lot, is a little bit deeper, a little bit slower. Bring your, mind, bring your attention to your mind. Hopefully a more quiet and tranquil mind. And last, bring your attention to your emotional state. Hopefully a state of more peacefulness, a state of war easiness, more tranquility around your energy. Whenever you're ready, we meet back into a seated position. Take a moment to take a deep inhale, arms overhead. As you exhale, right hand on the mat, flexing the right elbow and opening the side body on the left. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, other side like a nice morning stretch. Inhale, arms, hands on the mat behind your seat. Open the chest. As you exhale, round that spine, keeping the hands on the mat exactly where they are. Inhale, come back to neutral. And as you exhale, make a nice rotation of your head 
360. Open your mouth, take all the time in the world to rotate the head in one direction and then start on the other direction. Whenever you're back to neutral, you find the last inhale here. And as you exhale, plant the hands in front of you. Let your hands slide forward and surrender. Sit bones grounded. Long spine. Press the hands down on the mat. Walk them back towards your heels. And then from there, sitting tall, hopefully feeling a lot more spacious, a lot more open, a lot more relaxed, hopefully with a lot less tension around the sciatic nerve, around the lower back, neck and shoulders, and mainly with a lot more mobility uh, around your head and neck. So that, my friends, would be our last uh, part of the feel-good stretch. If any questions, I'm open for...